How goes it, everybody? I'm Kujo, and welcome back to another FTB Skies episode. As you can see, our armor's off. We've upgraded some, uh, some enchanting type stuff off camera. So let's take a look at what we did here. So, uh, turn around. We got some bunch of hell shelves and stuff. Um, we got this. If we, let's just throw something that's not enchanted in there. We got, uh, 50 out of 50 Eterno, which is max. We got 50 Chaos, uh... Yeah, 50% uh, quanta, and we are up to 100%, well, base value, and our current total is 90. Yeah, 100% uh, arcana, and so this is all the stuff we got going on here. Um, and then I got this little cute little setup over here. Um, we are out of essence. We're out of essence? We've enchanted a lot of things. Um, where's our essence drawer? Right here, probably. Yeah, that looks like an essence to me. Um... <laughs> So it'll just keep running as we get essence. Uh, but I basically had this uh, enchantment factory running. It's going to enchant as it gets stuff. And then it pumps stuff down into the library of Alexandria. Which if you look at the library of Alexandria. So we can just craft the enchantment library, right? Let's take a look at this. This is just some uh, infused hell shelf, some ender chest, and enchanter. To get this though, we need to have a certain amount of things. Which is why we have... what set up what we do it's a hundred hundred level craft it doesn't burn hundred levels but we can get up to <laughs> level xxx so that's 31 31 levels i don't think any enchantments go off of that i don't think it's even worth it to do but so this is why are our feet down there oh because oh, i threw them in our thing um so i'm gonna go through this is all the enchantments we have saved up and we have multiple levels of each like we can get level six from this some of them we don't have max on we surprisingly we haven't got enough to get max on things. So, we're still working on that. But I'm going to go through here, and I'm going to pick out a book and set up a book. You can do multiple. Like, I'll show you. Like, if we do Air Infinity, let's do Aqua Affinity. So, this book now has Air Infinity and Aqua Affinity. And if we want to do, like, Protection, we can get Protection. Our max level is 5 right now. So that would give us protection five, even though we can usually get more than that. And then I've just been scrolling through and just being like, okay, what do, what do I want on a helmet? And checking things out. So I'm going to go through, get all of our things a book made for. We'll enchant them up and I'll bear back. All right, I think I have all of our books made. I didn't go too crazy with them. I mean, there's a little bit of stuff here. Like we'll have air infinity, aqua infinity, inside protection, respiration. I didn't put on breaking on this one for some reason. Oh, well. well I don't, we don't really need it on the flux infused stuff. So there's our enchanted helmet we just got unbreaking and protection oh it, it oh it cancels the protect the unbreaking because it can't have it because it's charged by electricity so these ones we pretty much just got uh protection on stable footing protection five feather falling then on our paxel it has life mending on it which I'm not really a fan of, so maybe we won't do that. I did make an additional Paxel, so maybe we'll start fresh from that. Let's grab the fresh Paxel. There we go. Oh, it does cancel out some things, because look at... Uh, there's one, one, two, three, four, five, six things on there. And it goes down to four. So some of the things, what, what, are, what are not allowed? It won't take the sharpness. And it won't take the growth. Oh, well, we will survive without. This one's also taken off two things. Vorpal lo looting, beheading. Oh, insight is taken off. I don't know why I put that on there. Maybe that was a misclick. There's our sword. And we just got our bow to do. Which we just have infinity, power, quick shot, and true shot. We should be good. So now we just need to get an arrow. Because <laughs> we don't have... Any on us. We only need one. Oh, it's like instant. Let's see how accurate it is. Ready? We'll aim for this square. I mean, they're still drop, but they're hitting pretty much the same spot. So that's good. That's good. Good. We, oh, they're infinity. We can't pick them up. <laughs> I'm so used to picking them up. So that's all of our stuff enchanted that I want to enchant, I believe. Um, if we take a look at here, let's get into doing some of this. Do we have Arcane Sands, 32 of them? 
Well, we have 37 of them. That's even better. We got one extra. Um, aluminum, we need a stack. We almost have a stack. Let's grab a couple more. That's pretty quick. There we go. There's a stack of that. And then this is going to be the, the slower part of this. Getting uh, two stacks of each of these. Annihilation and deals. We just look at core. We do have an uh, autocraft set up. Let's get that started. Oh, they're going quick. I did speed up our things. I set up our all of our stuff over here. Our presses and stuff. Um, so they're maxed out on speed, so it shouldn't take too long. I don't want to put in the other recipe until this one's done, though, because I don't want it to try button in and screwing up the craft. So there's the two stacks of the Annihilation. Here's the two stacks of the Formation coming. All right, so we got our two stacks of each of these now. So we should be able to go through, and I don't even... What do we get from this? Creative ME Mana Cell? We don't even have an ME system, so we're not really getting anything out of this, are we? But there we go. We have a Creative ME Mana Cell. We probably just dump the excess stuff in here, and then we can move right on to this next one, I believe. The Infused Hell Shell. We need Gem Dust 32 of that. We got lots of Gem Dust. And we need some runes. Rune of fire. We got lots of those. Um, rune of earth. Rune of air. Rune of water, I believe it was, right? So it looks like we're going to need a few of these still. We can uh, submit that and submit our hell shelf. Um, we can submit our ones we have of these. But we're going to need another 10 of those. So we're going to hop back into Batania. Did I not submit any water? I thought I grabbed water. Oh, I grabbed winter, not water. We only have two water. All right, so I got to make up some more runes in our Batania place. And we'll be right back. All right, so I think I got the runes crafted up. I tried doing a little bit of auto crafting on them and... It... For how many runes we needed, it, it was getting to be not worth it to set it up, so I just manually did them. Um, there we go. We got Rune of Earth, Rune of Air, and we have a Storm Lens. We got a bunch of other runes that I don't know what they are for. And we're going to throw those just into our inventory. Uh, can we keep going on this? What do we need for the next one? We could be done with this whole section, huh? We could get our flight token finally. That would be... This would be awesome because we're going to need to get into some of these and these creative element containers are going to be amazing. And creative controller we'll get or creative energy cell. That would be awesome too. That means our that means our refined storage system will not uh, accept any... We already did the Sky Village one. It won't, ex it won't need any power and we just need a Supreme Frame and some Palladium. Let's craft a Supreme Frame. This should be easy enough. Plutonium. We needed five of these, I believe, right? And there's our supreme frame. We should... <laughs> Jeez, we're, we're killing it at the start of this episode, aren't we? There we go. So that's amazing. We don't really need the flight anymore, but... What can you do? Where is our controller? There it is. So if we bust this guy out... Put our creative controller down. It doesn't need power anymore. We are not using any power. It says it's using power, but I don't... Let's let's try to move this point. I don't think it's actually... I think it's has it in the system already. It's not actually losing anything. So let's take a look at our next one. What can we do now? We need a billion RF. Okay. And we need liquid DT fuel. That we're going to have to do some work. Let's grab a screen. We can do the power though. So I'm really interested to see how fast this is done. 100 billion FE. How fast is this going to go? Uh, pretty quick. Pretty quick. And we're done. <laughs> 100 billion ultimate cosmic power <laughs> is the quest called. And it's, it was done in like five seconds. But I, I forgot to tell you, I did expand this also. Because I let my machine over... Uh, it was AFK over the whole weekend. 
and it filled up and so i'm like well what's the point of doing that so i crafted up uh basically doubled the size i went out one more this way and went out two more that way uh which gives us 76.8 tfe which is super amazing put our armor on we might as well we're super overpowered now i don't think we even have anything to fight so 100 buckets of liquid dt fuel so we are going to have to set up some DT fuel. Let me get uh, some stuff set up and figure out what I need to do for that. And I'll be right back with you guys. All right. So let's get this set up. So we need uh, to set up some of these uh, solar neutron activators. I want to set up. Ooh, I only grabbed one. I forgot to grab the other ones. I don't think I have enough room in my inventory for them, though. Um, we need to set up some of this lithium coming out. And we need to run that through. And that'll turn into tritium. I grabbed five of these. I don't know if we're going to need that many. All right. So all of our things are now set up running. Uh, we're going to need some pressurized tube on these. And I think I might run this into an entangle porter. Set up an entangle porter at the end. And let's do... Let's do a lithium. Or uh, what is it called? What is this? Tritium? Tritium. Save a tritium channel. Let's select that. Let's grab sides. We're going to do gases as an input. So it is now sucking up all the tritium. And I think we're going to do the rest of this downstairs. All right. So now down underneath. And we need to get some water set up here. And we're going to... Let's grab... Okay, let's put these... Our inventory is extremely full with all the... Uh, oh, we're on liquid... We're on fluids. We need crafting grid. There we go. All right. So we have our thing set up. I need, I want to get that stone back, please. So I can line the back of this so I can have a spot to place our pump. So these are electric pumps from mechanism. I don't know which part is supposed to be. It looks like power on this side. So let's grab a point. We're also going to need some mechanical pipe. And some universal cable. There we go. We should have these powered. They have sucked up water, which is... I should have thought of that before. Because we need to add uh, these filters to these. Which will only allow them to suck up heavy water. But if we take this mechanical pipe... Should output the water into these... Once all the water's in there and it's not going up anymore, we should be able to break these and that will delete it. And we can then get our heavy water going. All right, heavy water right there. But I want to upgrade these guys also. With some speeds and some efficiencies or energies, I guess they would be. So now these are working faster. All the heavy water is pumping out. And we're probably going to put this into another entangle porter. So let's put this here. Let oh, that's not there. Let's do a new channel for heavy water. Collect that. Set that there, and we should be good. We have heavy water getting filled up. So now we just need to get into combining our heavy water. Let's take a look at our DT fuel. Let's go over this. You know, I'm not going to... I'm uh, changing my mind. Changing my mind on how we're doing this. Because the heavy water needs to get pumped into something different. So if we look at DT fuel. We need deuterium, which is electrolytic separator with heavy water and that. So maybe we will grab some electrolytic separators right here. We already have three of them made. So let's go... Just place these guys down here. We're just short power, which is fine. We can get another point. Now I have power, and we are making the deuterium. This side, we're going to dump excess on the oxygen so that we are not um, outputting anything. So we're going to need some pressurized stuff, I believe, for this, right? I think it's a gas. I don't believe it's a liquid. 
So let's grab some ultimate pressurized pipes. And if we set output on the front, let's break these so we're not getting anything that we don't want in our pipes. Because we want output one gas. That should be good. All right, so that's all set up. We should just be able to put our pressurized tubes on here now. And there goes our deuterium. Our deuterium is what I want to place into here. So if we set this guy up for a new one. I don't think that's how you spell it, but I'm going to spell it that way anyways. And that should be filling up with deuterium. Sweet. So now we can take a... What machine is it that we need? So it's going to be a chemical infuser with tritium and deuterium to make DT fuel. We're just going to start with one of these chemical infusers and see if we keep up with that. If we need to make more, we can make more. But we're going to hop over to this place here. We'll place that guy down. On this side, we are going to put our deuterium... And we want to set this side for gases to output to the right. Hmm. So it doesn't seem to be outputting directly into that. Do we have the... Okay, eject on. There we go. So that should help, right? Yep, deuterium full. Should be able to slap our other entangle porter down. No, this is the one with heavy. Let's do... We wanted the tritium on this, right? So we set that to tritium. Check our sides for gases. Output, eject on, and we should be buzzing now, right? There we go. We are out of power, though. And there we go. We got our DT fuel coming out, which we need to run into a rotary condensator. So we have gaseous uh, DT fuel in here, right? So we should be able to pump out into here. That's going to condensate into liquid DT fuel, which we also need to hook up to power. If we pop a universal cable down here, or what is it? The Yeah, universal cable. We should be able to pull off that same point. Now we got power. We're condensing it into a liquid. So we can take our screen. And if we put this liquids, fluids on the front output. We should be able to pop our screen down and change this to liquid dt fuel right here this guy we set it true and we are starting to fill we're ways off we're not we're, we're not up to a bucket yet so we're gonna get some speed upgrades on these things i think to get everything going a little faster all right and there it is ultimate cosmic power we've we've, we've we're done so let's grab an ultimate tank here so we can have a buffer of this running we're going to need a new one because we have a bunch of random ones with different stuff in them. So it's weird that I could pump directly into the screen, but not into this. This is not pumping out the front, though. Let's go liquid. Front is output. Do I need to set a pull on this? It's full. Oh, that's because this is a liquid. We don't need the liquid. So while we're doing, I kind of want to break this. Can we reverse this? And we'll pump out the, the gases. There we go. So now DT fuel is in there. We don't need the liquid version. I, I believe with the generator, we only use the... Um, we're only going to use the regular version if we get the our fusion gener or reactor up and running. Like I said, if. I don't know if we're going to do that or not, if we need to. We're pretty good on power for right now. So we should be able to get into here now, which gives us just experience. Unfortunate. These we might be able to have. Also, flux infused ingots, that's all super easy stuff, which will give us a creative rune from Elemental Craft. And some more experience. Um, let's see how far we can go down this road. 
All right, so we definitely have enough of the fireite ingots. We haven't even done anything with the elemental craft, though. We got all those from, like, raiding villages and stuff. Um, we also need flux-infused ingots. I think we need 32 of these. And then we need um, Gaia ingots. We need 16. There we go. 16 of those. We need the flux ones still. 32. I think that's everything we need for this tier. What do we get? Oh yeah, we get it. We already looked at that. And there we go. So this one will be creative reclamation chamber. I think that makes our thermal things run a little smoother. So we need a thousand eyes of ender, a thousand dimensional shards, and unstable ingots, the stable type. So our thousand eyes of ender are crafting, and then we need dimensional shards, right? So we need like 15 stacks of these to be a thousand. Well, 16 total. So that should be our thousand dimensional shards. That was easy. We just get those from sieving. So those are connect connected, connected, <laughs> collected. Our eyes of ender are done. So now we need the unstable ingots. Unstable. We have four <laughs> that we found. Um, we need to get into these division sigils, which I need to make one of these, which I think we need to do this. To get this, we need to do a... Okay, so I have the ritual. That's the word I was looking for set up here. And if you we shift right click on this, uh, the enchanting table, it tells us it's too early. We need the, the moon to be perfectly in the sky. And then we're going to drop one of these cows on top of it. And we're going to right-click on here, and it's going to sacrifice the cow and activate our division sigil. So I'm going to wait for the correct time at night, and we'll be right back. So I'm waiting here for the time, and I just found something out that you could do. You shift right-click with the clock, it'll tell you what time it is. I'm sure it's a modded thing, but... So it's 22.09. It still says we're too early, though. So I'm going to be waiting probably till the, the rest of that little bit of blue. I can't see the moon for some reason. I never noticed do we, if we put... Shaders on. Can we see the moon? It might be because it's raining also. Because I think it's raining out. So the moon might be hidden. Uh, but I don't want to sleep to get rid of the moon. <laughs> to get rid of the rain. Because I want the night time. So I'm going to keep waiting. Alright. It says it's the right time to perform the sacrifice. So we're going to hop up here. Drop our cow on. Shift right click. I. What? You're supposed to be on here. So maybe we need to kill it? Does that work? Okay, yes, that's it. We needed to kill it. The the, the ritual doesn't kill it itself. We have to be the 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 killer there. All right, so we got our stuff cleaned up. We can take this uh what is it? Division sigil and we can make it into a more stable version to make the stable ingots. If we hit uses on this guy, all we have to do is combine. We need unstable blocks which means we need two of those which so we need to make some unstable ingots i think the timer only runs on these when they're in your inventory so if we don't ever put them in our inventory i don't think we'll have an issue so if we make let's see 18 of these to make blocks right so we need 18 we made 19 Okay, and then we can take our, what's it called? Division sigil. Plop it in here, and we have the stable version. So how many unstable ingots do we need for this? 64, a stack of unstable ingots. There's our stack. We can now uh, reclaim this one. Submit, and we got a creative uh, reclamation chamber deal. That's super cool. I don't even know if we're going to use that. <laughs> I don't think we really need it. We just drop everything into our inventory. So if we look at uh, unstable, we have one actual unstable ingot. Um, but it's still, as you can see, the timer doesn't... Where did we... Did we make the boots and stuff of these? I don't remember doing that. Apparently we did. Um, the timer doesn't count until it goes in our inventory. So if we leave it in there, it's completely safe, completely fine. But with that, we can also go to armor, right? Oh, wait, apparently we did. We did not... We made the couple of those. Maybe I was making those. I was trying to clean up some quests. 
So if we take these, let's make some more stable, unstable ingots. Let's make another stack, because why not? And that will be enough to make the rest of our armor. And then that cleans that quest up also. We get an unbreaking book, which we can go throw straight into our library, because I don't think we're going to need it. You can see our, our storage has gotten filled up pretty... I mean, we're we're about 75% full total right now, because I've just... I've, I kind of gave up on putting stuff in chests. <laughs> I'll just craft more things if we need it. So back to the overpowered. We've done... Let's see. One, one two, three, four, five, six of the endgame quest so far today. I bet you we can get this one too. Runic fiber is just a crafting. We need blaze fiber. Which is mega bloom fiber, which is mega blooms. Grown from seeds, crafted using the enchanting apparatus. I wonder if we can get this from the market. No, I don't think so. We might have to get into a little bit of uh, doing some source type stuff. So we need a thousand generalized ender prediction, right? I think that should probably be enough. That is. Even grab an extra stack. And then we need some dragon breath. Super easy. So that means the only thing we need is 128 of this end fiber. Which is popcorn fruit. We could probably do some of the, a recipe for popcorn fruit. Let's try to auto craft some of this. Throw that in our ultimate smelting factory. We need to get these mega blooms. Isn't that what they're called? Mega blooms? So we need blaze fiber, which is mega bloom fiber. Grown from seed, crafted using the crafting apparatus quests. We make one mega bloom, we get more. So let's let's hop into our quest book again right here real quick. Let's see, work our ways down to the Ars Nuevo stuff, because obviously we haven't done crap in this. So we want to kind of go more down this way. Imbuement chamber we need. We need some source gem. Then we're going to have to go this way. We already have the source stone done and source gem done, actually. Arcane pedestals we'll need four of. So let's grab this imbuement chamber. Does our, does our guy have source stone? Does not, but he's not fully maxed out either. So I think we're going to have to get some source running. Um, get some source stones up and running. Which I think this should grow quick, right? Yeah, there we go. Let's grab our deal here. Vein mine our archwood tree. That'll give us all, this, all the stuff. So we can grab some archwood planks. And we can grab an imbuement chamber. That will get us some things imbued. That does all the quests. That'll give us some gems there. We got source jars, which gives us things. Bunch of scrolls. I don't think we have enough stuff in our inventory. Okay, that gives us some source blocks right there. So we're good with that. So we need arcane pedestals. We need four of them. Do we have enough to make four? So that'll give us four of those. That's That worked out perfect. So that should give us our quest. Which gives us a pedestals more. We need a ritual blazier. But we already have one for our arcane core because we needed to make one of those to trade with the dude. So we do need to get some source gems cr creating here. So let's uh, hop back downstairs. So I want to get into making this Vitalik source link because I think that'll be a good way to start making some source. Um, we just need some glistening melons. Let's grab some of those. I don't know how many of these we can make. I don't think we have a lot of source gems. Yeah, that was all our source gems. So, but if we take this and we place it down right here, I believe we will start generating source. If we grab a source jar, is this going to start giving us source? Yes, 24% full because every time a mob dies, it does its thing. I still don't know why these Endermen go through the glass. It's kind of weird. And and see, it's going up. Okay, so we got source there. So we need an imbuement chamber, right? So I'm going to take our imbuement chamber, slap her down right here. We're going to get an import and export bus on this. With some speed upgrades. 
So the import, we'll just throw right here on that side. And we only want this to import source gems. Then we can grab our export, slap it on top. And this is going to do export lapis. And then we can connect these up with some cable. I am collecting so much junk in our inventory right now from stand. I don't even have our, our thing turned on. Our cable should be coming out over here. Yes, there it is. And this should be an easy patch into right over here. Why are there mobs out here? That's creepy. Apparently it's dark under here. So why is Lapis not going into here? There we go. Because we needed to whitelist the output. So we're getting to source. Our source jar is getting over full. Should probably make some more. Just to have a little bit of a buffer over here. So that gets us our source link deal, which is a source relay and a source jar we got. Oh, man, we just crafted some. Uh, of course. We'll just throw it down over there. Why not? It'll fill up eventually. So I really want to stay on task here. I don't need to be going all the way through this. Um, enchanting apparatus we need to get now. So we need source stone, which is crafted from uh, polished calcite, polished any stone and source gems. So how many do we need for that? For enchanting apparatus we need two okay do we have all the things oh we already have all the things so there is our deal so that'll give us another source relay bucket of source some experience we want to get into the mega bloom okay so in order to start our crafting we need to get an arcane core going um and we're gonna need our pedestals so we're gonna take over here we need a area that has some source so let's grab, let's just throw us down here, put our enchanting apparatus on the top. Let's just do four pedestals for now, because I think that's all we're going to need. Um, and then if we take, if we look at our Mega Bloom seed, it's four source plus some seed. Four source gems, that is. Which we're up to almost a stack now. We need some seeds. So we are running low on source. We're going <laughs> to have to get this done real quick before. So let's grab all of our source we can out of here. It's going to craft them up and we'll get our mega bloom going. There we go. We got a mega bloom seed. Which we got another mega bloom grown from seeds crafting app. So I don't know if we can glow, grow the mega bloom or if we just use the mega bloom part for crafting. Let's hop over to our our deal over here. So let's grab a Mega Bloom seed and we'll place it in the ground. It should grow quick. So if we look at uses for these guys, that's what we use to make the Me Mega Bloom thing. So let's make another seed. We'll have two of them going here. I'll speed it up a little bit. So it looks like we need about two stacks of the Mega Bloom fibers. So I'm going to sit here and collect up all this stuff until we have two stacks of the Mega Blooms. And then we should be able to move on from there. All right, that's our three stacks, our two stacks plus. We should be able to craft up all of the things we need now. So if we hop in here and we should be able to get... Oh, I didn't realize uh, we did not need that many. <laughs> well, we have a bunch. Uh, so if we hit uses on these guys, let's get rid of all this other junk in our inventory. We should be able to go and make them into these. The uses on those. We should be able to make popped chorus fruit. Let's make a stack of popped chorus fruit. And there's our two stacks of the end stuff. Overpowered. Submit that. We have a creative spell book from ours. Which is pretty neat. We're getting close to the end here. Look at this. Do we get any cool things in here in these next levels? Creative source jar will be good. Creative world shaver. That would be awesome. And a cheaty disc. <laughs> cheaty storage disc. It has all the items. All the stuff. So that's how close we are to the end. But I before we do this one... Or in the same episode after, we're going to go through and we're going to clean up all of these and do all the stuff. Um, I'm going to check and see how much time we have left for today and probably going to be the end of it. We've got a lot of questing done. We did a, It was a big quest episode. We didn't really leave our base and do anything, 
But I mean, we got some some source hooked up over here. Got that running. I may craft up a couple more uh, Vitalik sources, source deals to to get more source from uh, these guys dying off camera and stuff. But uh, let me see how much time we have left, and I'll be right back with you guys. As I suspected, <laughs> we uh, are out of time. We got a lot done today. I was looking back at it, and if we look at our quest book, we did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of the end game overpowered quest seven of them that's crazy i think we might try to get one of them done next time and then we might dive deeper into uh either finish up our mechanism with the fission generator i haven't even begun to get into this mod yet um monster hunter is not really a quest we need to go down bees we can kind of just do as we do Maybe even to the star. Maybe we'll do this. Because I know we start... We need to start... We need to start needing it. <laughs> We're going to need the stuff um, in the tier. We got to start working on the singularities too. Because that's going to take a little bit. Uh, right here. We're going to need the glacial ice shard. So that means we got to get to glacial. Um, but that won't be too bad. We can get that done. Uh, but we just need to get those singularities running. So maybe we'll get the singularities up and running tomorrow. Maybe we'll get... Uh, get uh our rocket ship upgraded to tier three and then we'll head out into space again i believe but thank you for hanging out if you got to this point in the video i truly appreciate you if you're new here consider subscribing if you like the video hit the like button if you got something to say say it down below and i'll see y'all next episode bye bye